Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one we are going to create a retail price calculator. Create an application that lets the user enter an item's wholesale cost and its markup percentage. It should then display the item's retail price. So for example, if the wholesale cost is $5 and the markup is 100%, then the retail price is $10. If the cost is uh, the wholesale cost is five dollars and that's 50 percent markup then the retail price is 750. now the program should have a method called calculate retail that receives the wholesale cost and the markup percentage as arguments and returns the retail price of the item now i already have the form ready uh, the user enters the wholesale cost and the percentage of the markup We'll click calculate retail price and we'll display the retail price okay so the first thing we can do is create the function that they want us to create which is called calculate retail we can make it private and it returns a double it returns the uh, the, the retail price so it might be with decimals so we return it as a double we'll call it calculate retail like they want us to and it's supposed to accept two uh, arguments the wholesale and the markup so the wholesale will be double as well because that's the price and the markup we can have as double as well uh, so it accepts uh, decimals as well so this is our method or our function so uh, it returns the result of a calculation for the retail price and to do that we need to first make sure that we calculate the markup with the in the correct way like the user would normally enter a markup as 50 percent or 30 percent or something like that but the calculation uh, has to be done with the decimal of that in other words we need to make 30 percent into 0 0.3 or 5 percent into 0 0.05 so i'm going to create a double called markup percent and it equals simply markup divided by 100 so we'll get the decimal uh, portion of the percentage that we can use in our calculation when we do the multiplication and now we can return the retail price so we can create another variable let's call it double retail price and our retail price equals simply the wholesale and we add the markup whatever the result of the markup is and the markup is uh, simply multiplication of the wholesale multiplied by our markup percentage markup percent so if the wholesale is 100 and the markup is 30 percent we multiply 100 times 0 3 so we get a 30 and then we'll add wholesale to it which would be 100 plus 30 equals 130 and that's our retail price except i misspelled the retail price there you go so now we can return the result of the calculation that is stored in our retail price variable we perform the calculation we got the result now we're returning the result from the calculation now where do we return it to we return it to our button click event for the calculate button so uh, when the button is clicked we will call this function it will perform the calculations and return the retail price that we can then display on our form in the text box so first thing i'm going to create a few variables i'm going to create a wholesale this is the input from the user remember there's two text boxes one for wholesale and one for markup so it's going to be double markup and these will be the arguments passed into our function so but before we do that we should verify or validate them and make sure that the user entered valid input 
So we can do try parse. So if our double dot try parse and it's the text box wholesale cost dot text. If that one validates, we'll get out our wholesale. And the second one, we, we do the double die dot try parse and we check the uh, markup percent that the user enters. And if it validates, we'll get our markup out. And if it doesn't validate, as though usually we'll do a message box that displays that it's an invalid input and prompts the user to enter valid numbers. So if it validates, we can now call the function. We have the valid input. We can pass that input into our function. Uh, so I will create a double called retail. Oops, I misspelled it again. Retail price. And this retail price is not the same as this one in, in our function. Remember the scope each variable has. Our retail price in the button click event is only a variable that is uh, scoped to this uh, button click event. It doesn't go any, any past that. And similarly, retail price in our function is only available to the function. To make it available elsewhere, in this case, we are returning that retail price from our function and we will pass that value from it into our retail price inside a click button. Now, I couldn't name this something else, uh, just let's say retail, so it's obvious that these two variables are different. But you need to kind of realize the scope of each variable, so I'm, I'm still gonna call it retail price. And um, now we can uh, call the function and pass the return, uh, return value, which is the retail price from the function into our retail price in our click event. So our retail price equals, and I'll call the function, calculate retail, and I'm going to pass those two arguments. So the first one is the wholesale, and the second one was the markup. Now, after it executes, we have uh, our retail price and we can display it in our text box. So text box retail price dot text equals retail price. And let's do it to string and format it to currency. All right, so let's run it. So let's do those tests that they uh, gave us. If the wholesale is five dollars and the markup is hundred percent, obviously the retail price is ten dollars. If the markup is fifty percent, it's seven fifty. If the retail price is uh, five fifty, for example, then the, I mean a wholesale cost is five fifty. Then with fifty percent increase or markup, the retail price would be eight twenty five. So we you can see that it's uh, working correctly, but let me just try 50.5 as the markup, and you can see that it's still working fine. So we, the, the doubles work okay with the decimals. All right, so this is the exercise. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.